this video, we're going to focus on the Hyper 5 regulator and its basic service. When servicing the Hyper Reg, first make sure the gun has been degassed and all the air is out of the marker. Make sure there's no paintballs in the marker. And at that point, take a 1 quarter inch Allen wrench, insert it into the service nut at the bottom of the Hyper Reg, and simply unscrew. Once you've cleared the threads, the Hyper Reg cartridge will, will come out. And then you can reach in and slide the piston and piston shims out. Once you've removed the piston and piston shims, that's as far as disassembly as you need to go for basic service. All you're going to do is clean off any dirt, debris, corrosion, paint, if it's gotten in there somehow, off the components. One thing I like to do to keep the shims stacked properly, insert an Allen wrench through the piston, turn it over, and allow the shims to rest on the Allen wrench when it's time to reassemble and grease the system, stack your shims back onto the piston. Make sure the shims are in alternating order. The concave and convex shape of them are opposed to each one, stacked one after another. Put a small amount of grease on the lower quarter inch of the piston shaft. Slide it into the hyperreg cartridge. Small another dab of grease. Put it on the piston head o-ring. Rub that around evenly. Lastly, small amount of grease on both the red 015 cartridge o-rings. At that point, just gently slide the piston, shims, and cartridge up inside the reg body as one unit. Go slow to, be, to prevent any o-rings from being nicked or scratched or damaged. Simply just use your quarter inch Allen wrench, screw it in until just snug, and the service is done and you're ready to get back out on the field. The M2 marker has an internal service system that monitors the number of shots that the gun fires, which alerts that can alert you to when service is necessary on some of the major components. If you get a service alert that pops up over your playing screen, you're going to want to come to the service system and scroll through until you reach the screen that indicates that system needs to be serviced. To access the service system, you're going to want to enter into the profile selection. And from any profile, enter into your data settings menu. Scroll until you reach the service system screen and then select it to enter into the service system. Once you've serviced the system, you can tap the center of the joystick to select that screen and you can toggle through and reset the system. And you're ready to exit the system. Scroll left or right, reach the exit screen, press the center of the joystick and now you can toggle through, hit exit again where you press and hold up on the joystick to take you back to the player profile. And you press up and hold again to take you to the playing screen. 